Welcome to Sienna ND, the next dimension in live video production. Brought to you by Sienna, the global leader in IP video migration. Hello and welcome to this Sienna ND demonstration. I'm up in the control room today because I'm going to take you inside the Sienna ND processing engine an infrastructure which lets you chain together units of processing and create complex NDI workflows and signal orchestration. You can run this on Mac OS or Linux Ubuntu and it gives you all the tools you need to build a modern NDI-based facility. It's the equivalent of a glue rack of processing card frames. We're going to start off with an NDI source. First, We'll add a couple of signal generators. I'll put a second one in there and choose signal generator number two. So now we have two sources inside the engine. What can we do with them? Why don't we do a picture in picture? This is going to superimpose source two on top of source one. Let's put that top left. Now we're going to want to preview that, so we'll add NDI weblink module to give us a bridge between NDI and HTTP. This whole interface is actually in a web page, so we can use that to monitor all these pieces. If we turn on picture in picture, we can have a look at what's coming in to the first input. And this, I believe, is a countdown clock. Yes, and that's the first one. Let's look at what's coming in on the second input. I think this one's a bouncing line. So we've got those two NDI signals and we're superimposing one on the other. If we look at the output of the picture-in-picture -picture module, we'll see our picture-in-picture. -picture. OK, that's great. Let's superimpose a bug over the top. Here's our bug inserter and I've got a PNG file called Sienna PNG. And I think we want this at maybe 30%. And we'll put it top right somewhere. Now, we'll connect one to the other and turn this on. Let's have a look at that. There we have it, a picture in picture and our bug superimposed. We haven't got any sound yet, so let's do that. The ND processing engine lets you connect AES67 IP audio using the AES67 to NDI module. We'll turn that on. We'll wait for it to pick up the AES67 sources. We've got a Dante-based AES67 interface on the network and also an audio embedder module. So, we'll take the video into the audio embedder. And then we need another NDI source, which is going to pick up the Dante. Let's click on that to see if we've got the Dante. We haven't got it yet. We'll give it another few seconds. When we come out of the audio embedder, we're going to publish the stream as a new NDI source. So we go to NDI destination, and we're going to call this done, because this will be our end product. And we can connect that up. Let's see if we've got the Dante source yet. Yes, there it is, the Dante Avio. And that's going to be our audio coming into our audio embedder. Let's turn that on. And double check that we've got something coming out of it. We should have the same source. And that will have audio as well. And now we can go to an NDI monitor and look at that. We haven't turned that on yet, so let's turn on the endpoint, done. And there we go. We've now got our product with a picture-in-picture, -picture, our bug inserted, and we've also taken some AES67 audio and embedded that. Let's just mute that for a second, and now why don't we publish it as something else? So let's get our UDP streamer module. This is going to stream UDP, H.264 and AAC, and we can connect another feed to that. So if we start that one running, it'll take a couple of seconds, 
Now switch to VLC and this should start playing. So, there we have it. Playing as a multicast UDP stream on the network as well as our NDI output. So that's a very quick overview of the Siena ND processing engine. Of course, you can build much more complex workflows than this, and lots of parallel workflows as well. The only limitation is the power of your computing platform. The engine works great on high-end dual Xeon Ubuntu servers, top-end Core i9 servers, systems like that. And you'll be surprised just how much you can do with a single computer chaining these modules together. If you've got any questions or you want more information about the product, jump over to sienna.tv forward slash NDI. Thanks for joining me.